Hello, hello, Pat. Uh, I would like to ask you about if you can introduce yourself. Uh, and okay, just tell me how 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 do you know about this congress? And okay, okay. you can start. Yeah, I, I'm Pat Tillen. I'm uh, head of the Moor Park Research Centre in Ireland. Uh, we have responsibility for doing all dairy research in Ireland. Okay, okay. Bueno, su nombre es Pat Dillon. Trabaja para eh, Moore Park es una, un instituto de investigación eh, basado en, en, en producción de leche. Eh, and what? What? We can continue. Okay. Um, it, uh, Alberto Dick asked me, invited me to come to the conference. Alberto Dick lo invitó a la conferencia. Yeah, he visited Moore Park uh, a number of years ago, and he realized that what we were doing was very relevant uh, for the Argentinian dairy industry. Bueno, Alberto Dick visitó este instituto de investigación eh, varios, varios años atrás y bueno, eh, descubrió la, eh, ese lugar de esa casa de altos estudios y bueno, estableció el contacto con, con, con Pat. Is, is your first time here in Argentina? No, my second time. I was here uh, 10 years ago before. Uh, I think that the technologies that we have developed in Ireland are very relevant uh, for the Argentinian dairy industry. Uh, technology is going to be very important for the future and uh, and a lot of the technology that I was presenting has large implications for the future of the Argentinian dairy industry. Bueno, es la segunda vez que está en Argentina, la primera vez hace 10 años que llegó, le hace 10 años. Bueno, eh, él encuentra que la tecnología que, que hay en Argentina es similar a la de la de Irlanda y que bueno, que tiene un impacto en, en la producción futura. Um, talking about the technology path, do you think that we are uh, in quite a um, similar position, Argentina and Ireland, uh, talking about dairy industry? Yes, but um, the, the technology would be better developed at this stage in Ireland uh, in terms of grazing technology and animal breeding technology. Uh, there would be the two areas that are very important for Argentina to develop. Because, I mean, I would see the strengths of the, the, the dairy industry in Argentina going forward is grass-based systems uh, producing milk off of grazed grass. So the two technologies that are very important is just grazing management, how you manage pastures, and the type of genetics you use to convert that pasture into milk. Bueno, él dice que hay una pequeña diferencia con respecto a Irlanda este, y que bueno, que ve que Argentina es un sistema también pastoril, pero bueno, las líneas genéticas no son las, a lo mejor las más adecuadas. Este, what, what do you think, Pat, about the nutrition system eh, in Argentina and if you can find difference from Ireland, you know? Well, we visited a farm yesterday, a large dairy herd. I think that... Um, uh, grazing is, is still not optimum. Uh, you need better grazing management. And you're talking about uh, monitoring grass supply on the farm and doing the budgets to go with it. Uh, I would think there is still a lot of underutilization of grass, and you could have a larger number of cows per unit area, uh, provided you have everything else right and increase farm profitability. Yes, eh, Pat dice que el manejo de, de Argentina eh, no es el óptimo en el manejo de pasturas, que hay mucho ba baja utilización y que falta management, que falta eh, buen manejo de, de la pastura. Este, even though, Pat, if we talk about to measure the grass, we, 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 don't, we don't measure the grass, we don't know how, how much grass we produce. No sabemos lo que estamos produciendo. Yeah, the lady wanted to know, Pat, if this... Eh, no good uh, manage, pasture management uh, is for politi political decision or, or if we are uh, not, 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 not clever enough, but uh, not good manage, manage, managers, no? About 10 years ago... Or belong to us, yes, the problem. Okay. About 10 years ago, there was very few people in uh, dairy farmers in Ireland measuring grass. Okay. Today, there's a high proportion of them. So it's, uh, it's developing the technology, simple technology, visual assessment, yeah. calibrating yourself. And once you develop those skills, uh, they will... Uh, so we, had, we started a number of studies, implied a person to go around, say, 14 commercial dairy farms a number of years ago. He measured pasture. He was very good at measure pasture. He advised the farmers. And we looked at the financial benefit on those farms, and we showed large increases. Yeah. But the, the technology was originally developed in a research 
centre, but it was brought out onto farms, and that's very important. Bueno, Pat dice que hace 10 años había muy poca gente que medía el pasto en Irlanda, pero se dieron cuenta que el mejor aprovechamiento del pasto repercute directamente en una, en una rentabilidad, por eso que ya económicamente, digamos, están perfeccionándose día a día en la, en la producción de base a pasto. Julia, I wanted to know if uh, you are, you, you have, you, how do you say, uh, you have hopes that we are going to improve in the daily, in the pasture management. Yes, yes, I mean, it's very possible. I mean, it's, it's very, possible. very possible. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah, yeah. The other, uh, the other area that, that, uh, that I highlighted was the importance of using grass-based genetics. That was the other area. Uh, there are genetics there worldwide that are suitable for pasture-based systems. There are genetics not suitable for pasture-based systems. And uh, some farmers are operating. And you have to go to a country that uses grass-based genetics if you're going to import genetics. The preferable way is to develop your own uh, evaluation program. But if you can't develop your own evaluation program, you go to where the genetics is more similar. And here, I would guess it's New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand is the model. Dice que Nueva Zelanda es, es el modelo. Tenemos que ir a esos países, conocer cómo se está manejando y que tiene esperanza de que nosotros podamos improve our grass management. Thank you very much. Thank you.